This is the Know Nothing Show with Steve and Eric. Get ready for the countdown. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. <laughs> Hear the bell tolls. Will technology work for us? It is the Know Nothing Show. Steve Benz, Eric Black. Two ginormous scoops of delicious radio. It is the 4th of July holiday special. <laughs> we don't know what the hell that means. Well, the, yeah. the, the special part is is that we have no idea what's going on. We don't, we don't know. We have no clue. About anything that's happening on the Know Nothing Show, and that seems to be pretty typical. That's that's pretty much the Know Nothing Show. If things were to go exceptionally well, or just well in general, I think I don't know. That would be really really weird. I, mean, I wouldn't know what show uh, I was on. It would be like it's a whole different show. We'd have to change the name immediately, and it would just it would be weird. We would belong on like like CBS, <laughs> something like that. Like if everything went hmm. perfect. Hi, it's Steve Benz and Eric Black. Tonight's nightly news report. That's right. That's right. Eight people dead in the streets. Could we make it ten before the night's <laughs> out? Things like that. Oh. Uh, so we had some technical problems. Right. Again. Mm-hmm. This get get this one. Now you and I weren't actually able to talk. Usually before the show, we kind of talk. We converse a touch. You know, we pretty much do this to each other. Right. Like, a lot of that. Yeah. We ru- I ran in late. Mm-hmm. I've been having webcam issues with the server because mm-hmm. 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 there was a Windows update. Sure, sure. So I I installed it 13 times. Wow. To get it working. That seems a bit okay. excessive. So today I decided to call in. To it's a Logic Tech. Okay, it's right. a good cam. Right. So they're like, oh, no, I don't know what's happening. I just don't know what's going on. You got to call a guy from Windows. <laughs> so I'm thinking this is going to go well. Oh, so I call okay. a guy from Windows. I'm like, I right. you know who I am. Sure, I know who you are. What do you want? Mm-hmm. So I tell the situation. goes, uh, we don't support that anymore. What the? What? That's not cool. So I'm like, could you could you recommend... A new webcam for the studio. Right. Let me show you, you know, how the distance it's going to be because they need all that kind of, they need to do some tabulation. Sure, sure, sure. Mm-hmm. So they mm-hmm. spit back going, well, you know, the best one, I think, there's two of them that you could probably get, Mr. B. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Said, so, did you just call me Mr. B? Hmm. What the hell? Hmm. Which, I didn't give you permission to do that. Which is not Mr. Belvedere. It's actually Mr. Benz. Two, two I completely. One of us could be Mr. B. Which scares me. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Not going to lie. It's actually a lot So he weird. goes, well, you know, if you go with a Logitech, you're going to stay on that mm-hmm. platform. If you go with a 920, that's uh, usually uh, 149, but I could probably get it for a 99 to you. I'm like, what? 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 Wow. 100 bucks. Did you say a webcam for $100? I mean, does it buy you dinner first, at least? <sighs> There's no fingering that goes on. Hmm. Other than, you know, it's a uh, 1080 uh, HD right there. You know, did you know that you could, it's got like bad vision and all that kind of stuff that's really good. You know, you could see yourself in really low light. Oh. It's uh, highly touted. Because we have, we have plenty of light here, so that's really not uh, an issue. Some, we can afford lights. There is, the lights are on. Um, so, you know, it's got more pixels and stuff, so your pixelation will disappear and you'll be much clearer. Right. Right. Hmm. Or, like, you can go with the 199 version of that. Uh, it does come with the green screen and all this. And I'm like, what? You can, uh, you can eliminate wow. your background. If wow. You I'm like, what if, what if I don't have a green background? He's like, you can, uh, it actually allow you to cut yourself out, kind of like uh, Photoshop. I'm like, shut the F up. Wow. It better for 150 bucks. So I'm thinking, I could be in Australia right now on webcam. On the beach. Yeah. Hello, mate. Yeah. And you believe it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Would you, if I was sitting there mm-hmm. in my, uh, you know, my know nothing ham hockey banana hammock? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna get a budget for another hundred dollar type thing. I mean, 
I, you know, let's just start like something like a Kickstarter page, except we just accept money from our fans and listeners. How about we, we just, just do kick- that? How about that? How about we just start accepting just a stupid amount of money from people that, pay, <laughs> I mean, the four people that actually listen to the show. No, we have more than that. F- seven. We have seven now. It's craziness now. Yeah. Yes, but we're doing well better than a lot of those syndicated shows that claim to have three million listeners. That's that's very true, which which we have come across in the past few months of yeah. dealing with other other shows and other radio stations. Well, I don't know if we can accept you, No Nothing Show, because you don't have 3.2 million listeners like this podcast in the basement does. Like, so, first of, first all, of all, I think you guys are ripping them off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even though they are only two months old and we're a year and a half into it. Yeah, perfectly yeah, fine. But I don't know. You guys are, uh, you guys seem kind of, uh, you know, scamish to me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, I don't care that both of you sound like radio guys. Yeah. That has nothing to do with it. And uh, none of your, uh, and we're looking at your audio. It's, uh, wait a second. It's all perfect in the VU meter. Oh, you know what a VU meter is? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes, I do. Where all the other ones are all just like red. Yeah. <laughs> Just completely, just completely read off the charts, if you will. <laughs> Their entire podcast. Yeah, pretty much. That's what it is. It's just white. It's they're apparently their fan base is aliens because that's what they're, they're sixty thousand downloads doing, which is weird. I don't know who pays for not, all that. No, it's not uh, sixty thousand downloads. You know, the more questions you ask, it's like, well, you know, I get sixty thousand hits. Hits. I mean, I can hit you sixty thousand times. I have no problem with that. Let me explain how hits work on a website. Here we go. There's a Google spider that comes out. This okay? is a learning moment here, kids. It, it reads it reads your site. And every possible click, every possible image, it counts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you can have uh, like a thousand touch points on one page. Right. They count all those as listeners. Listeners. We don't. We don't do Our that. Our stations are legit. Yeah, yeah. We have 3.2 million people watch, watching us right now. They're just, they don't know that they're watching us right now. We've infiltrated their, their webcams. Their webcams. Hey, right there. A little weird. Dude, that is not a Polish sausage. That's what I'm saying. Well, it's definitely a sausage, but it's not Polish. That's for <laughs> yeah, there's, sure. <laughs> there's no label. There, there was some confusion in the beginning, but we did get the results back, and it is not Polish. Let me tell you, polar sausage on the grill, that is delicious. That is actually really good. Yeah. All the grease, like, like mm-hmm. just strips out of it. And it burns you, and it's just a horrible feeling, but you can't stop eating it. No, I know. I got you. And you bite into it, and it's got that little yeah. crunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, yeah. that's good. Don't forget, you got to pierce, you know, the outside just a little bit, so it kind of drips. No, that's true. You do. I mean, otherwise, it's going to explode in your face on the grill, and no one wants that. That's just a that's horrible. Good. Right. You see that with people who Horrible. don't know fire. Yeah, they don't understand. And you just back up. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like you go over to someone for their first time, they're like, "Well, you know, I just spend uh, fifteen hundred dollars on this uh, Weber Genesis. How do I turn it on?" Well, okay. Um, take it, buttons. take it back. Take it back. Uh, you need a little canister of gas. What? You mean I can't plug this in? Hit this. My brother <laughs> bought a new grill. Mm-hmm. And they plug it in. Wait. So yes. he got a yes. giant George Foreman grill? Yes. Huh. Yes. Huh. That is not grilling. No. No, that's uh, that's just a big skillet. That's all that is. It's wrong. It's just freaking wrong. Did I you... am never going to his house for a barbecue. So he's his man card is in the mail, right? You're going to be getting that. Uh, is that this week? That's coming oh, in? Oh, my God. Just... Yeah. That's you know, not. And then when he goes, hey, I'll listen to your show. No, you will not. No. Nope. We are very choosy on who our listenership is. We will find you and we will make you stop listening. If you if you have an electric grill, you will no longer be listening to this show. You'll get the teaser. You'll get that little bit until we find out who you are and then you're done. You are excommunicated. You will get the email. You are out. <laughs> we'll find your IP address and we will block it. Could you imagine ever sitting there like going, what? You and I are doing a live show somewhere, and they pull on and go, hold on, we need an extension cord. Before <laughs> yeah. we start today. So we're grilling. Let, let's unplug the audio cords you know, for the board. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need it. We don't need it. 
It's all good. We don't need to hear these two mothers nope. live. Nope. That is true. <laughs> it's just too funny. <sighs> Thanks for plugging it in. Electric. Beautiful. Wow. Wow. I hope, uh, I hope you paid for your electricity bill. It's okay. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Because I mean, if you if you even if you had a now I'm I'm partial to charcoal. I have both. I have to use the the gas one quite a bit because of time. But if you have an electric one, like you just said, you your electricity goes out. You got to pull out the generator, which has gas in it, for one generally. Or you maybe have an electric generator, yeah. which is useless to you at that point in time. What do you do? So I'm confused. What do you do? I used to do the briquettes for a while. Then it got messy. Well, okay. yeah. Maybe you shouldn't have thrown them at people. That's probably... Look, look. That's mm. That had nothing to do with it. I'm just saying. That's I'm just... little shovel is for, you know? I, I guess. That's and what then it's I, for. I had to go... Okay, I've got a Genesis grill. i got a big one, okay? Mm-hmm. 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 You know? I measured that big boy. I lived mm-hmm. right. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Tape measure, like oh ho 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 ho. I miss that show. Thanks, God. I miss that show. Yeah, you can still find that show on YouTube. No, oh, I, like, I just went on and on. Whew. I know. I got this good. Oh, and then just that one push starter. Now here's the catch, though. Here's the catch. Uh, make sure that when you are uh, you're gassing that bad boy up, make sure the lid's open. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, it's like Hiroshima type situation where there's like some big, huge. You don't have any eyebrows is essentially what I'm saying. That's and you look pretty weird with no. And then you have to paint them on, and you know how long that freaking takes. Uh, and you know that's not the first time we've had to do that. No, so. no, no. This is um, <clears throat> it's ongoing. It's ongoing. We're just apparently now seeing how many times we can do it. But see the um, but the briquettes. Let's face it. You get impatient. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You like that bad boy, well, and takes, you have to wait till the ashes. It's like over. twenty minutes. It's about twenty minutes. And then let's face it. I know you are not a patient man. You keep putting more lighter fluid on Mm-mm. that bad. No, see, I graduated. No, I graduated from lighter fluid. Now we're we're using um we're using jet fuel, and that that baby lights up real quick. Ah, uh, real uh, quick. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. It's real nice. I just threw a little ripple on there. Just <laughs> now, since. We're now believing that you know fire. Do yep. you put it in the pyramid when you light it? Is that the type of guy you are, or do you have it all flat? No, no, I have it flat. Um, but I but I layer it. It's not just flat. I layer it. You have to kind of stagger it. So it's kind of, I guess it could eventually be a pyramid, but I only do like two layers. So there's one flat layer, and then yeah. I'm gonna put another s- small, sizable, like thin layer on top yeah. of that. Depending on what I'm cooking, depending on how big the big the grill is, then I have to. A big one, or you got those little smoky joes. Both, both. Whoa! Sometimes I light the other one and don't even use it because I have it. What? Because I have it. So it's you light two there. and you don't. May, you might not use both. I don't even use both of them. I just light them both because I don't even know. I'm like, I don't. Which one do I want? I don't know. Just light them both. We'll just light them both up and we'll see what happens. And then I just leave the other one lit in case I want to do marshmallows while I'm grilling on the other one or something. Those are the it's days, fine. man. I like doing that. Yeah. And then sometimes, uh-huh. sometimes when I don't like my neighbor's decks, <laughs> I'll just go over and grab the wood from the neighbor's deck and That's right. keep my fire going. It's real nice. Uh, real nice. And I got spoiled. I'm telling you, with my Genesis, it's got the side burner too. Ooh. ooh. Uh-huh. Now, see, I got a. I just I recently got a charcoal brand one or a charbroil, not charcoal, charbroil brand one, and it kind of has the same situation. But mine, I had I didn't purchase it. Uh, I inherited it because I did a video about it. I did an install video for it. And they're like, hey, I don't know what to do with this grill. And I'm like, I have a couple of ideas. Uh, then I finished putting it together, and I lit it on fire, and we had some steaks. And ideas were had, and it was great. And I enjoyed it. And then it ended up just sitting on my on my deck, and there it is. I love it. I'm okay with that. I like that. Yeah. Like that. yeah. But it is kind of weird, I must say. With my big grill, my big deck. I should probably take a picture of what my deck looks like now. Uh, now that it's all done, it's beautiful. You haven't taken a picture yet? Uh, no, I'm just hmm. like you know, maybe I should because it's got hmm. two tone. It's a two tone deck now. Sure, sure. So yeah. it's got really dark railing, mm-hmm. and then it's light. The floor is light, and the top of the railing is light. It's it's beautiful. My now you can stand on it, right? It's it's yeah. you're able to use it. 
I jumped on that bitch just to make sure I didn't well, know one go through it. So okay, All right. but I admit it is kind of weird to grill and then have like beans off to the side on the side grill. Yeah, burner. It's, it's a little weird, but it's nice. But it's nice. I had Gross. a same, I had corn. I had I had meat. I had some beans on the other side. One time I had some peas going over there. I'm just doing random th- The other day I had like sticks in there because I was just like, I have it. It's there. I might as well use it. I was just boiling sticks for no apparent reason just because it's there and I I just wanted to use it. Bark soup? Bark soup. Boom. Now, have you grilled fruit? You know, um, I tried, but he got up and ran away. So I could not keep him on the grill for I'll long. Try. It's good. It's good, man. Wow, wow, wow! No, I haven't actually. I haven't actually grilled grilled fruit. What did you grill? Uh, well, it's always meat. But for the uh, the fruit, I put bananas on there. That was good. Watermelon. That was good. Pineapple. All that kind of stuff. Okay, but how are you doing this? Are you wrapping it in foil? Oh no, 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 no! Right on there. I got a little Uh, mat that goes over. uh, Nice. One of those uh, TV mats. Yeah. It actually works. It's kind of flimsy in the dishwasher and stuff, but. Kind of nice. All right. All right. I came out with uh, my apron only. Yes. Well, of course. That's how you grill. That's right. And, you know, when the fire gets a little high, you know, it just singes the, the chest hair. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which you don't actually need. It's just there for show. It's, it's the back hair that's uh, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. And why you're cooking that way uh, is beyond me. But so I, whatever. It's fine. Some people do that, I suppose. <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with apron only well, barbecue. I, it maybe. gets the neighbors to leave and not look out their window. You know, I heard that. Yeah, yeah. Just saying. Hmm. You know, they look, they go, look, the wind is blowing. Ooh, his hair looks good. Yeah. Wait a second. That's his back hair. That that's long. is his back. And why it's in cornrows is beyond hey, me. Hey, the 90s are back. Okay. I, I you guess. had them. Going with the dreads. I guess. Actually, I did have cornrows for like yeah. two days because I did. I saw... Just because. Funny. It was great. It was fantastic. You, come on. You look like the lady a white guy it. from um, which boy band had cornrows? Uh, which boy band didn't have cornrows? Uh, I think is a better. Oof. Um, wasn't in sync. <clears throat> um, LFO? One of those, Ooh, one of maybe. those boy bands. LFO like, sounds cool. right. So, right there, that's you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's you. That's what the, now, the boy. Like. Did you see? Which reminds me. Um, what the heck is that guy from Backstreet Boy? Aaron Carter's older brother, Nick. Nick Carter. Right. He has. There's a brand new show that he's starting called Boy Band. He is looking to put together a new effing boy band. Mm, okay. Well. So I signed you up for the audition. That's, I mean, I've already got it. You don't have to sign me up. I'm, they already asked me. <laughs> and quite frankly, I, I need the fame. So now in a boy band, since, you know, we've seen a picture of you. Right. Now a boy band, we've seen threes, we've seen fours, we've seen five. Yeah. But really, what is the authentic boy band size? Uh, 15. 15 is really the number that I'm, I'm trying to go for. Uh, we don't want to play small venues, uh, unless, unless we can fill a crowd. I mean, we just want a, a big crowd. Uh, and the bigger the band is, the more people it looks like is actually at the venue. Uh, so we think that that's probably the best way to go, really, if you think that's about right. it. Yeah. Going 15. 15 people. Yeah. All dancing. None of them are playing any instrument at all. They're just. Well, they're a boy band. Yeah. They're not going to. It's kind of like asking the Spice Girls, hey, what instrument do you play? Stop it. Yeah. What's an instrument? What is that? I don't understand. For show, like what that is. Bands. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, yeah. unfortunately, because because there are fifteen people in in the band, we actually are kind of reverting back to the seventies, where we have you know twenty five minute songs. So our shows are generally about six or seven hours long, um, which we have to prep uh, two years in advance for because that's just how long it takes for us to get to that level. Uh, but it's a good show. It's a really good show. Tickets are three hundred forty seven thousand dollars a piece. Um, like, and, uh, you know, you get a free hot dog. So I think that's uh, a win-win for everyone, really. 
And here I just thought it was a one song show. Uh, well, the, the thing is, though, <clears throat> we have to stop to uh, to recalibrate, essentially. So that's how we differentiate which, you know, wh- which song is which. Otherwise, you know, it's really the same track. We just Re- either calibrate. put it in reverse or, you know, whatever, whatever we whatever they do to help us look good, uh, essentially, is what they what they do. That's a long dance. OK, it is. It is. Uh, sometimes now you'll have to look closely at the next show you see. Uh, but most of us actually have some sort of marionette situation going on where somebody we get we get tired we get tired. It's a six hour show, so we just go kind of limp. But then you'll just kind of see it. they look really cool like dance moves, but really it's just somebody right there, somebody doing that's it. Very in yeah. syncish. Yeah, that's, see, I knew you were a yeah. fan. It's somebody doing it for us. No. Yeah, and then someone just told me JT Timberlake had cr- uh, had uh, this, cornrows. Uh, cr- yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to think mm-hmm. of the word because I, I was thinking something else. Yeah, a little, a little worse. Right. Well, but guys with cornrows, just like how how your hair was, it just you know, dreads. It, come on, it was drop dead gorgeous, is what it was. And yeah, but you had, but you had dreads like coming from your eyebrows and stuff. That's just wrong, man. Um. Wrong. Well, I went through a Jewish phase. Um, for a minute, I, <laughs> that was just, weird. Uh, I'm thinking about corn rolling my beard. Actually, because yeah. why would you not? I'm just just saying. I think it's a good idea. I think it needs like a middle part, like a '70s mar- middle part, like a bust off to one side. Very yeah. anthrax, right? <clears throat> I don't even know if I can. I yeah, hey, just kind of shave just this. the middle out a little bit. Give it a little. Uh, you've got the uh, the little butt chin. Uh uh-uh. uh I gave that up years ago. Uh, yeah, you just do a little guy liner right there. Yeah. Butt chin. I think the ladies would like that. They might. Yeah, I saw this guy's beard, kind of, kind of like mine, but he had he had combed it where it's like in, and then it like flares out. So every time he would talk, it looked like his beard was was moving out as well. <laughs> it looked like his beard was talking sideways. It was it's very Frito Bandito. It was weird. I liked it, but it was kind of freaking me out because I didn't know who to. I didn't know if it was beard was talking or if he was talking. I wasn't sure who to look at, so yeah. I didn't know. But isn't that true even for this show? The listeners are not sure, or the viewers, right, right. not sure who to look at during the live show. Right, right. Especially right now, because this is live. Now, when you're listening to this later on, it's not going to be live, so you'll probably be looking at both of us. But right. for the here and now, like literally yeah. for the here and now, it's weird. It's a little weird. It's dreamy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard not to watch the show. And be mystified. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Maybe, uh, you know, you. you mm-hmm. I've heard two scoops of radio, and then I'll come the chocolate and the whipped cream, and you know. Well, and I've and I've heard too that uh, we actually rival a David Blaine show uh, because the same viewer that watches a David Blaine show that is in awe will will in turn watch our show, and the, the jaw line will will be exactly it's dropped. Uh, they just don't, they're in disbelief. They don't know what's happening or how, how it's happening. Um, and then they spend like the next, you know, week or so trying to figure out wh- what just happened. Um, mm-hmm. and they can't, they can't. It's true. Yeah. And you could get software to, uh, slow down the broadcast too. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See messages mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. And play it backwards and sideways or how, whatever the kids are doing these days. I don't even know. Because you know it's subliminal to uh, you know I don't know remove your clothes so yeah yeah it's yeah. like that because it's hot and sticky in here. Now yeah. I will tell you this: if you do play this show backwards, uh, it mm-hmm. will also look weird because it in turn makes our clothes be backwards uh, upon us, uh, uh. which I was not aware of until I accidentally hit the wrong button when I was editing mm-hmm. a show one time. Yeah, and it just kind of messed everything up for me. Uh, I I see you in a different light. Um, than I than I did before, <laughs> and I I could have I could have swore that you were in in crisscross for some reason, but uh, you you weren't. I was. You weren't. Was you were. Third guy. You were the invisible guy that was yeah. just kind of behind this. You were the DJ. You were the you were spinning the tracks. I was Spinderella. Hmm. Well, no, wait a second. That's the wrong band. Yeah. Spinderella. Um, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. Yeah, that's Spinderella, right? Mm-hmm. I think so. Sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Absolutely. Was Sounds good. And then, uh, Chris Cross, you know, that was uh, the issue I had with that being in that band was 
the uh, I was a little too tall for the clothes. Now, now let me. That's that's fair. Let me ask you this. Now, were you forced to jump, or did they make you jump? Um, no, they forced me to jump. So you, you didn't choose. You didn't choose to jump. They they said, "Look, you, we make you jump. You have to jump. That's what we do." That's actually how the lyric went. Right. Jump. You have to jump. Damn it. Just jump. Just jump. Okay. 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 They take it out because they went to PG. This is like no nothing behind the music yeah. situation right now. In case you guys were curious about that, but uh, that's interesting. That's uh, that's good to know. I did not. Uh, I was not aware of that. Huh. I it was uh I was I was huge for about three weeks. So well, I don't even know how to take that right now. So yeah, they uh, sent me an email. Yeah, my AOL account. Yeah, me out and so which took you like twenty minutes to get because you yeah. had to you had to sign on dial up there. And there's a lot of discussion <laughs> in uh, you know the Yahoo chats about yeah. it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 So uh, now did they beep you first? Before you checked the e- to to tell you that you had an email, or did they? Uh, hey? They did. We did have the pagers back then, right. and we would give out number sequences. Mm. Not that you have to call back somewhere. Sure. Okay, so sure. Like a nine one one, we knew that you were supposed to call the manager or whatever, and if you got a six two three, mm-hmm. that was to check your email, which is what I got. Did I you ever? Was- did you ever accidentally? Think that you were supposed to call nine one one and had a really weird conversation with a with a nine one one operator. Uh, often, yeah, yeah, because uh, you know it was lonely in Los Angeles. So well, sometimes. no one no one really told you the rules. They just they just yeah. assumed that everybody knew that that just meant simply emergency, not that you had to call nine one one. A lot of confusion back then. A lot of confusion. You know, I'd call if I was uh, you know sitting on a Santa Monica pier by myself. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I go. You know, it was a tough life. It really was um, on the so, pier in sunny Santa Monica. It's 911 if I dropped my guacamole. So. Mm. Now, did you ever get that guacamole? Did somebody actually come by maybe on some sort of rollerblading situation and slap some guacamole back on your burrito ever? Well, there there was uh, a beautiful blonde on roller skates. Mm-hmm. Uh, guacam- something guacamole belt. Right. What Was he fit? Did, was he was he built? Well, it was a she, but I oh. understand. Oh, oh, I just assumed that Santa Monica, yeah. West Coast. Well, well, I she had know. a mustache though. Ooh, well, so, so she, but she, she probably had a job. I mean, she circus of some because sort. I, I didn't. I was just on the pier. Yeah, so just, huh. and yet I watch all the all those early episodes of like NCIS Los Angeles. <laughs> So there's some fine acting right there. Right. Yeah, that's that's where it's at right there. That's I just noticed uh, we're up against our first break. Wow. So Amazing. For you uh, hanging out with us. Yeah, we're, we started a few minutes late, but that's just technology. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is a no nothing show. Steve Benz, Eric Black, two scoops of delicious radio. Do not move. We will be right back. We're back better than ever. It is Eric and Steve, the Know Nothing Show. Two massive scoops of delicious radio. <laughs> I have a beef. I have a beef. Oh, throw it at me. Okay, so you know how sometimes we play music and we do Facebook Live. And right. Facebook okay. is like, you can't play that because it's copywritten and uh, we don't like that. And it's we're not selling it, first of all. We're just playing it because we enjoy it. We're not making any money off of this. So wait a second. So a listener or a viewer? No. No. Facebook is. Facebook in general. Facebook is saying, you can't use this. And I'm saying, watch me. So here's here's the thing. Now, we play commercials all day long, right? Commercials, to me, are kind of the same thing. Somebody went through a lot of work to make this commercial. For example, the Bud Light commercial that we just heard, right? Why can I do that on Facebook Live, but I can't do a song? Why Why aren't there royalties for playing I'm Not Trying to Start Anything, because that's all we need is royalties for freaking commercials. But 
to me, that's confusing because it's still somebody somebody's putting hard work into that. It's being played the same place a, a music, a song is being played. Why aren't we getting in trouble for that? I hate to break it to you, but there are royalties for ads. No, there aren't. It's uh, it's part of your SAG AFTRA. I don't. We don't pay any so. of that, so they can suck it. That, that may be true, but the the mothership station that we're at actually pays for all of that. But why doesn't Facebook? Bite our heads oh, off I on where that. Where you going? So you're saying Facebook? Just Facebook. Just Facebook. Yeah. But then that's why I just click, go suck it. There is an option for that. We we actually lobbied that option, uh, and they for some reason uh, put yeah. that in there to to essentially to tell themselves to go suck it. Yeah. I just I was I don't know why that's I don't know why that's the case. I mean, it just seems like if we can play commercials. Yeah. It's free on but see, Facebook. we don't get flagged if we play with ourselves. That is copyright. Well, right? not flagged per se, um, but there is a situation that happens. I should be paid for that for the views. Well, same. There's a decent amount. I mean, six so, is really a really good number. I understand your anger. I just don't I understand, understand it. your pain. It's just dumb. I don't like it, Facebook. I think you're stupid. But they did announce. Facebook now has 2 billion profiles and users. And 900 million of those are fake or spam. That is correct. So there's that. That's there good. would be that. Good job, so. Facebook. Good job. Yeah. So I wish that 900 million were following us. Well, maybe they are. Maybe they are. Maybe they are. We just don't even know it. Yeah, just, we just don't I even just know don't it. No. Hmm. Hmm. But this if right you know now, any fake people. You could, they could, they can follow us. I feel like this right now would be one of those, you know, in, in shows where they like do that little blur thing and it goes into a dream situation. Hmm, this is how I think this would go. Like, <laughs> like Queen's <laughs> World. Yep. And then it goes into like some weird, random um, Walgreens World type situation. Right. Yeah. I'd agree with that. Yeah. I'd absolutely agree with that, yeah. and that's the way it should be. I like it. It's good times. So we are now starting a Facebook page, so just suck it. Just suck it. I like it. it your nice friend, Steve and Eric. Steve and Eric. Yeah. We're, those, getting, those two we're guys, getting matching those, tattoos. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I would do that. I would get a matching tattoo that, like, in the middle of it, uh, just S-U, and then mm -hmm. you get the C-K it. Yeah. So I think that would be okay. Or you can just take just and i can just put suck it which will be awkward if we're not ever together but nonetheless when we are together then it will be fine right yeah. they will confuse me with justin timberlake yeah just i don't know who that says um don't worry about it it's, don't worry about it uh used to have cornrows yeah it was in a boy band boy boy band band of the boys i'm telling you i'm i'm working on nick carter to be on this show okay I, but I, I feel been on my show my other one of my other shows yeah but I think Nick would be very it'd be quite appropriate for this show. I feel like he can't. There, there's no way that he can be in a in a boy band. It has to be a man band because it's there. He's clearly no longer a boy. Now, does that mean he's going to have boys in his band? Because that's a whole other that's a whole other situation that I'm not even sure is legal at this point. Uh, it's a little awkward. I'm confused now. So I want to have boys in my boy hmm. band. Or maybe he wants to manage it kind of like how they were managed. Weren't they managed by some some shady dude from Florida? Probably. They were a boy band. I think that's the only way to manage a boy band. If you're not shady and from Florida, it, you can't manage a boy band successfully. Yeah, just you no can't way. do it. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Like that. That's why... Uh, Eminem, he was slim shady. Miminem. Miminem. See, I like Eminem. I'd like to hear something from him again. You will. You will. He's coming back. I hope so. I he thought was. he was he was good. He won a, an Oscar yep. for eight mile. And apparently he's changed his look and his fans are like, uh, I don't like it. And I don't I he's clearly he's a man after my own heart. He's just telling everyone to suck it because he's not he doesn't he doesn't care. He's got a beard, no one recognizes him. Which is fine. So he went back to his um, natural color hair, which is yeah. brown of some sort. Yeah. So. yeah. Now they want Marshall. They don't want Shady anymore. Yeah. 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 Which is 
which is completely the opposite of what his I'm lyrics kind of, I'm That ought to be kind of weird for him to go on tour 20 years later, just like watching Madonna 20 years later sing Like a Virgin. It's like, no, isn't it like, like I'm on menopause medicine? Right, right. Unlike a virgin. So, and you would think for Madonna herself, with the billion that she's probably worth. Oh, yeah. She has enough money to fix her two front teeth. Yet, you know, I see this consistently with celebrities and with stars and things like that. They have a stupid amount of money, and yet there's some sort of defect that could easily be fixed with whatever they have in their pocket as far as money goes. Easily be fixed. And yet they're like, no, I'm not going to do it. It's just, I just don't want to do it. Okay. I'm just better off if I just have a list. I just want a list. Like Madonna, who... Actually, let's face it. She was the first one ever to use auto tune. Well, her voice was never that high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She was twenty six, right? I think she was twenty six when she made it. That sounds and, sounds uh, accurate. And it changed her voice because they wanted her to sound younger. That's what they'll do to me too. Kind of like yours. Yeah, like they'll your do that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So we've deepened yours because it's mm-hmm. kind of hot. It's kind of mm-hmm. squeaky. It's really annoying. Yep. Now watch. I'm gonna <clears throat> hold on a second. Let me <clears throat> let me t- let me turn it off here real quick. So this is what I sound now, and then when we turn it off, it sounds like this because this is how I normally talk. It's a really high, really mellow, really yeah. nice voice. And then I have to come down. Like I just turned it back on. And you have to come back. This is I, that doesn't work in radio. That doesn't. Work. You have to <laughs> yeah. do this. You have to. Be I mean, like I feel this. like si- uh, Ryan Seacrest's voice is like that. Yeah, he's- yeah, but but his is soothing. His is his is more his is more of a well. He could be a girl. He could be a guy. I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, it's fine. I'm okay with it. Totally okay. And even the name Ryan could be a boy, could be a girl, could be either one, either Not way. Really, you're really sure? Yeah, doesn't doesn't matter. What and his little soft, you know, lisp at the end. Mm-hmm. Seacrest. Seacrest. Just a little bit of slur. Slur. Seacrest. You know, I don't have that. You know, you've got, you've Seacrest. got the fake Michael Jackson voice. I, I give you that. Seacrest. I've got the sarcastic. Um, I really don't like anybody voice. So. You have the I don't like anyone voice. Yeah, I do. So. Okay. So I don't know what that like, means. You're like, you like anybody? No, not no. really. No. What do you think about I this like person? This don't like no, him. not really. Nope. Nope. So, but, but Steve, you told us you liked it. Well, that was a different show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not that show. That's this right. is this show. Keep them separated. You got to. <laughs> that should be our TV show. Keep them separated. This isn't that show. This isn't that show. No. Remember that wasn't. show you like that uh, makes you feel good inside? Yeah. This isn't that show. No. Now, I did see last week we talked about the Network Stars show. Mm-hmm. Does it, I think that starts tonight. Is I was that tonight? watching more previews of that. Could we get more 70s actors on lung machines during a program? Could we well, do that? When you bring something back from the 70s, yeah. I expect it to be a very low-budget, old-looking show Man. because they have to kick it off somehow, and those are the people that are like, oh, yeah, I can do this, and they can't. But they'll do it anyway because, one, first of all, let's just face it, they need the money, and two, they need the uh, they need the fame. Yeah. I think the first race is the wheelchair race. Which is a very good race to have. I have actually, literally, I've done the real wheelchair race, and it is not as easy as they see it, as you see it on TV. It is not that easy. It takes a little bit of effort uh, to have someone push you around all day long. Hold on. Mm. These are motorized chairs. Oh, we've upgraded this year. Okay. Okay. And it starts well, <clears throat> they've got like mag wheels. Back in my day, back in my day, we had to push ourselves in the wheelchairs. You didn't oh, have yeah. none of this I'll electric crap. Right. In the snow, right. blinding rain, and sunny. It was ridiculous. Right. Uh, I'm still hoping I see Captain Stubing, Stubing. with the uh, high shorts <laughs> doing the high jump. I don't think you want to see that, actually. I think that would be uh, pretty good. I don't know that that's something that you really want to be a I'm, part of. I, I would want to be there. And then the host of the show is Mike Greenberg of ESPN. Um, Explain that one to me. That's a little weird. Is that just because that's the only person they could find that would 
get, that would be okay with the money that they're giving no, them? No, he's trying to get a TV show. ESPN, he's going to spin. He's going to have a morning TV show. Because <sighs> that's what we need is another freaking morning TV show. Yeah. That's really so, what we need. Or he's going to be kind of like doing what Dan Patrick did. Yeah. Took sports, kind of took the Mike and Mike thing, but now he's going to have more celebrities on because that's what we need on sports radio. More celebrities. Yeah. There are not nearly enough of those already. Yeah, because you got to get Mark Wahlberg on. Well, to of course. Talk about his Transformer movie that bombed so badly. Yeah, yeah. Like it but would, it, it needs to, it, it needs to progress up to a bomb. Like it's that bad that if if it would go up a little bit, then it would be, then it would be bombed. That's how bad it was. I like the the Rocks movie. It literally was it, a rock. It sank. It's and he's got. What is it? Next month is uh, the reboot of Jumanji. Oh, my goodness. That should be wow. a real winner, too. Yeah. Yeah. So I kind of posted that on the Hollywood Reporter uh, website when they brought up that. I'm like, oh, another winner from Rock. Yeah. Pay him $40 million for another winner. Wow. I'm all over that. Wow. But then I did follow up and invited him to our show. Well, I mean, why would you not? <laughs> I mean... I mean, not to need ratings or anything. Like no, that. no, no. It's not even sweeps week. It's not what we do. When is sweeps week anyway? They changed. It doesn't seem to be <sighs> I, when it used it to be. I feel like it's different every single year. Like every it's single year, I'm like, it's um, was it February, May, right, and October. I think they just randomly just say, uh, when was it? Oh, I don't know. Uh, screw it. Uh, it's this week. Let's just make it be this week. Okay, cool. Let's just do that. Well, when is it next year? I don't know. We'll figure it out then. Doesn't matter. Let's wait till next year to decide that. I don't have time to figure that out right now. I'm busy with my other shows and stuff. And things. Whatever it is I'm doing. And yeah, just things. all the fakeness of life. The but it's good. Things. Now, I did see a, a uh, uh, just before I came on air, I saw an interesting article. Mm, here we go. It has to do with radio. Mm-hmm. Okay. And mm-hmm. a Los Angeles station. Right. Now, I'm just going to say the Los Angeles uh, program director, um, their name is Kylie. Oh, okay. okay. K-Y-L-I-E. Mm-hmm. Kylie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And by chance, she is the new music coordinator. Hmm. Okay, Los Angeles mm-hmm. uh, listeners. There's a few, yeah. So by chance, by chance, here's what happened. They wrote a letter to this person. Right. Said, I find artists, I'm going to read part of it to you, and then I'll fill in the blanks here. I find artists who I think have potential <sighs> and get them in rotation on our station. If you'd like, please send me over a few MP3, uh, MP3s of your latest single, and I'll forward it to our program director here at So and So Station, and see if he's interested in putting in rotation. Mm-hmm. And she goes on about how wonderful it is, the support that the station could do for this artist, this <laughs> new artist. <laughs> right. <Okay>? Right. <laughs> it turned out that this letter was sent to Annie Lennox. Oh, Eurythmics. Well, all right. And Annie, being the sweetheart that she is, selling 75 million records, right. decided to post the letter on her Facebook page six hours ago. <laughs> well, Saying it's good to know that I'm a, an up-and-coming artist. Right, right. To kind of point out what's wrong with radio stations. Right, right. Unlike like our, our show, we are totally plugged in. We're in. We're in like Flynn or... Right there. Well, now, of course, we have to reach out to Annie from the Know Nothing Twitter page. Of course, we do. And say, we are interested yeah. in new artists like you. Do you have any experience at all, ever? <laughs> right. And oh, by the way, <laughs> you, you, you look like, I don't know, that, that, that woman from Blondie. It's look- weird, but it's like you're identical. Is there any correlation? Is this, I don't know what's, it's like a weird vortex that we have fallen into. And I don't know. I don't know. Oh it's my pretty God. Weird. Could you imagine just getting a letter? You're Annie Lennox. Okay. 
or I don't know, you're Bono. And you get this like, right. I don't know, this this Joshua tree. Mm-hmm. So it's very mm-hmm. good. I think you guys are going to make it. You may have something. You may be on to some. Can I play this on my station and get you out to the world? Can I do that for you? I mean, I guess if you if you want to. Wouldn't that be good? Wouldn't that? It'd wow. just be perfect. Wow. I did hear that uh, my feed has gone down. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that's unfortunate. So, just letting you know for some of you that are listening and really? wondering on the other side. But that hasn't. That it's not like it hasn't happened before. And it will happen again, for sure. It is Facebook. Yeah. Two billion. That's with a B. B. Users. B. B. So maybe because we told Facebook to suck it, mm-hmm. they retaliated on us. Uh, on you. Yeah. Uh, on you. I'm I'm still going strong because they still haven't found me yet. Because, you know, I'd like to point out that, uh, you know, if you need a litter of the pack, we're, we're here for you. We can take care of that for you. You're all over that. And in yeah. case you can't see me tonight, don't worry. You can see me with the uh, reposted video. That's right. That's right. Never fear. Never fear. It's delicious. You want, you want to drop them some knowledge on that? So here's so the, so here's the thing. This is this is a teachable moment, kids. Uh, pay attention. Pay attention. Put down your beverage. Bring the kids in. Bring the fam in. Let's do this. You need to find the Know Nothing Show. We're everywhere. Uh, you can find us on knownothingshow.com. All of the pertinents are over there. You can also find us. You can go to our social media through there. But I'll I'll go ahead and give it to you because I'm a nice guy. You can go to Facebook, you can go to Twitter, uh, you can go to YouTube, all of those things. No Nothing Show is what you need to do to find us over there. And then if you want, you can even, for some reason, follow us on Instagram. All of that information is at knownothingshow.com. If you want to send us an email, you can do that on your own time as well. You can go to knownothingboys at gmail.com. It's that simple, kids. It's that simple. It's very, we try to make things simple for you. Uh, and and for us, we are simple people. That's really what we are. We're here for you. We love you. We're simpletons. <laughs> so tonight, why don't we go to our break? Uh, just a few minutes early. What do you think? I think, just, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. That way, I can get my feedback up. You guys are listening to the Northern Show. <laughs> the no, the not me. Nothing Show. Steve and Eric, stay tuned. We'll be right back. And we are back. It is the Know Nothing Show. Steve Benz, Eric Black. Wow. I'm back up on Facebook for all of you that care. If not, you're watching the replay probably later on. You're going, oh my God, what happened? No, I'm still here. It's true. It's true. Yeah. I've got to be me. I've got to be Steve. Now there are some things coming uh, in in the mix a little bit later. You'll you'll be seeing us on Facebook Live together on the same screen. What? That's right, kids. That's right. Shot. Together on the Shot. same screen. That's right. So then, if I look over there or over there, there you are. It doesn't matter which way. We can switch it up. Or what we need to do is like do uh, the Brady Bunch, so there's like all there's a lot of us. That's right, that's right. We're so all the God. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. Just all watch around. out for the. Hey. Watch out for the tea bag. That's never. That's never what? good. You know. No, you heard. No, it. no that's what I'm saying. Watch out for it. It's not a good situation. Now I wanted to make sure that we mention this. I've been showing up at a lot of venues. Mm-hmm. You're showing up at a lot of venues, so I understand you're going to be. Summer in July, we need to make sure we tell them where you're going to be. Hopefully, if we can work this out, yeah. that's where we need to be. Now, there's there's a little festival, and by little, I mean uh, not little at all. Uh, it's coming up in July, and there'll be more information on this later as we progress into into the month of July. Um, it's actually coming up very quick. It's like the second week, I think, of, of July, but it's called uh, Chicago Open Air Fest. And what this is, it's a huge concert for rock uh, music and all this, all this kind of things, and we're gonna 
Steve and I are going to try to hang out at some point and maybe, maybe even do a couple interviews and see if we can't get ourselves kicked out. Uh, it seems to be, <laughs> seems to be right. a, a decent, a decent bet that we probably will. If, yeah. if it's anything like Pilgrimage Festival here in yeah. Franklin, odds are we're probably going to get kicked out. Yeah. Now, can I just throw out some names? Absolutely. That, Absolutely. That are going to be there? Yeah. So Kiss is going to be there. Now we've had them on the show. Rob Zombie. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Megadeth. Anthrax. Yep. Suicide Silence. Right. Uh, Cold Orange. Oh, wow. Well, White Chapel. Well. Corn. Godsmack. Corn. What? Some corn. What? That's it. Ozzy. That's true. It's Slayer. It's true. Shut up. Yep. Yep. I thought. No, I thought uh, Slayer was at this one. But those guys, Whatever. the rest are at Summerfest up in Milwaukee right now. True. The bitches. Yeah, that's so true. I was supposed to be up there for that, but uh, it's been raining up there. So too bad, bitches. That's right. That's right. You know, bitches. we're actually going to take this festival season into the fall as well, because we're going to go to Louder Than Life Fest. And that uh, that's in Kentucky, I believe, which isn't uh, it's like a hop, skip and a jump from where I'm sitting right now here in Nashville. Yeah. We're going to go ahead over there as well, and there is uh, essentially the same same music, rock music, but different bands, different feel. It's going to be nice. I'm excited for that. I've never been to that one, and I am very, very excited. I've never been to Rock on the Range, which I just came back from last month, um, right. which was an incredibly... Bad at stuff. Those are really good interviews, man. Fun, fun. Um, you, you suck, but those are really good. So. It's not about me. It's not about me. Um, it's not about me. It's, uh, it's about the money. I do it all for the Nikki. <laughs> Yes, the nookie. The, the, Hot we dog need it. Maybe that water. needs to be our new theme song. Do it all for the nookie. <laughs> and then for me, uh, you know, I'm at venues almost every week, so uh, I've got interviews with Flock of Seagulls, the Romantics, and I'm working on B-52s, which I think is going to be kind of fun. The thing is, we're legit, okay? We're doing interviews for you fine folks because there's a lot of things out there. There's a lot of people out there that have a lot to say. And they yeah. need it to be said. And we we ask questions that no one else asks. Not not yeah. weird random questions. They're questions that we have that uh, that no one else is. At. They're all asking generic questions. Hey, how'd you come up with their name? Crap that you can Google. We want to ask yeah. the stuff that you can't Google. It's stuff that yeah. that you just want to know that you haven't heard yet. Now there are going to be some things that you've heard, but. But we want to ask these yeah. questions as well. There's things that we want to that we want just to know. Ask, we just ask the question differently. That's right. We just reword it so it sounds completely different. And if you see an interview and he's he's holding up a card, something like this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. means they're not they're not listening. Nope. They want to ask those damn questions. Yep. Yep. Because some PR person gave it to them. That's right. Or some GM of some sort. Make sure you ask that question. That's right. Okay. That's right. Make yeah. sure you do that. Because we want to know. What do you want to know? We just want to know. Well, okay. Yeah, uh, um, that's how it rocks around here. It's true. We just, we're true. legit. We show up. People get out of the way. They do. Mainly because we have a four-wheel drive SUV, yeah. uh, and they don't want to get ran over. But nonetheless, we show up, and people get out of the way. The, uh, the know-nothing truck. That's right. That's right. So. Or the people eater, as we like to refer to it. As. Well, you know... Our, our theme our theme color is purple. Yeah, it's true. I don't know how we picked that. Uh, I don't know that we did. I think it picked us. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure about that I one. I mean, I get us. I get the Fruit of Loom guys. I get that. Well, we had a weird weekend where we hung out with Barney, and um, apparently that literally rubbed off on us. It was a weird weekend. I don't. I you ended up with the suit. I had the head back here in Nashville, and I'm not even sure. There was no one inside of mine, so I don't know if there's anybody inside of yours, but they're, uh, you, you maybe should have been. Me. You know what would be really cool on this is Ozzy Osbourne, because Lord knows, he would get the Know Nothing show. Yeah, he would be it, yeah. And the randomness of, of it all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. But we, we want to talk to, like, Jack, his son. Does he, do they tour with, with Dad? You know, I'm sure they hang out. It's not like they have jobs. Yeah, apparently not. So I don't know what Jack does. But now there's things. Now there's it's weird with Sharon. 
things are things are different. Things have been kind of rocky with the Osbournes lately. So I wonder if that's affecting who they decide to hang out with. He remembers that. He doesn't. He has no idea. He still goes home. Shut up! <laughs> She's not there. Shut! Shut! Shut up! She's not there, but he still does it. Yeah. And then he wakes Fine. up and there's Pop Tarts. Yeah. That's a, that's a Which, I mean, that's just a good wake up. That's all that is. Magical. Yeah. Mm. What's the daughter's name? Wasn't she on uh, The View or something? Oh, yeah, she was. I don't know what her, name, her was. name I don't think it matters. Um, tell us. Cause I'm sure Facebook will tell us. Now that we yeah, have Facebook always tells us, just like we shouldn't be playing any of that stuff. Right. You know? Right. You know, so do you have um, big plans for the 4th of July since this is the 4th of July special? It's special because it's a holiday. It's the same show. It's just a holiday. Yes, I do. And it's all to blame from last year. Oh. So last year in my neighborhood, uh, which is a homeowners association, which is BS, um, and I am not afraid to voice that, we had, uh, there are, they actually gave us a list. Here in Tennessee, you can, you can shoot off fireworks about six or eight times a year. Like, they gave us a list of when you could shoot them off legally. So... We do. And they're random. They're random. They're like Christmas, Thanksgiving, uh, just random holidays. You can have fireworks. So we do. Uh, but this last year, we we had bought some bigger and better fireworks, better, better than we had ever gotten before okay. we okay. had gotten these fireworks. And so we're like, well, we're going to, you know, we're going to use them. We thought, well, where are we going to go and use them? Well, we didn't end up going anywhere. So we just, in our, in our little suburban area, we got these stupid big fireworks, <laughs> explosions everywhere. And we lit them off, scaring everybody in the neighborhood. Well, our neighbors next door came out, and they're like, because they, the kids were in the windows watching, and the kids were in the windows watching all of our fireworks go off. So the parents were like, why are you guys, why are your faces glued? They could hear the fireworks, so they didn't have any idea what was going on. Why are your faces glued to the window? Well, the parents came and went out to the south side of the door, and they saw all of our amazing fireworks. And they came over to us, and they're like, we were like, okay, well, this is not going to not gonna end well. We didn't care, but it was not going to end well. They came over to us, and they said, Thank you. Thank you for getting good fireworks. We could not this year. Thank you. And we said, it's okay, my son. You're welcome. And then we went about our exploding of the fireworks. It was great. It was fantastic. So this year, we're going to get even bigger and better. Essentially, what we're trying to do is get arrested. That's really where it's at. Because there's no there's no limit on what they didn't say. They didn't specify like how big the fireworks could be so we're just going to see what what gets us in trouble i like that i like that attitude yeah yeah get yourself some m100s yeah i mean we're, we're we're talking like tank rounds we're just going to set those bad boys off I like that. uh well your house is gone sorry about that that's that's our fault our bad yeah like this star from uh uh what is it um big bang theory when mm. his house went up sorry i have been a fire yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate for you. Yeah, I'm just saying about that. Um, he's making a million dollars an episode. Uh, I think yeah. he's okay. Yeah. It's a weekly show. You do the math. All right. So I think he's okay. And the show has sucked for the past four years. Yeah, which is about how long they've been on air. Ah. So there's that. Just, just saying, you know, Los Angeles, I'm sorry, things burn. That's true. You don't live up the hill. No. Yeah. Knowing that it could burn down. Yeah. That's why I live near it's the beach. It's the desert. <laughs> right. It's the, it's the desert. I don't know if you guys are familiar with desert, but it's hot. Don't That's light a it. match. That's all I'm saying. No water and hot. Not a summer vacation spot. However, if you get closer to the beach, you're generally okay. That's that's what I do. I just let it hang free, and uh, you know. Well, okay. You no know. tan lines. No tan. That's that. That is the new tag tagline for the show. <laughs> no nothing show. No tan lines. That's right. I like it. <clears throat> and in the face like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, I like that. No tan lines. I like the new taglines. I like it. That. Delicious radio. No tan lines. That's right. Because we do belong out there to some degree. To some degree. 
Yeah, we're all uh, crazy like they Playa are. Playa Del Rey. <sighs> Playa. Playa Which Del Rey. Which be a dump. I used to drive through yeah. that place. It was uh, like six blocks. That's all that was there. <laughs> By the way, if you guys look on the, the map, um, so it's just past El Segundo, where all the smokestacks are, where they where they pump all the oil and stuff, the yep. refinery and all that. So it was a dump, a dump. And I used to drive through that as I, as I drove to Los Angeles because you didn't want to get on the 405. No, no. You're going to be on the 405 all freaking yeah. day. It's... So I would cut through Playa del Rey through there from Manhattan Beach and stuff like that. So. It's essentially like the 24 here in Nashville. It's just, it's like the highway to hell. That's essentially what it is, the 405 in L.A. It's not... And then if you were here in Chicago, it would be like the Kennedy stretch or the Eisenhower, where, let's face it, it's a parking lot. That's it, yeah. Although the worst I ever was is it was uh, raining in Los Angeles, and I was on the 5. Ooh. Trying to get to Fullerton. Ooh. Ooh. From Hollywood. Oh. It gets worse. And there's nowhere to go. <laughs> there, there, Literally. There, an on ramp for like four miles, and you can't even you can't turn around because it's a highway. You you can't even even if you wanted to turn around, you can't. There's you're nowhere stuck. to turn around. Yep, you're stuck, and you can't talk to anybody around you because they think that you're gonna try to you know knife them. Yep, or, or throw a water them. bottle at you. Apparently, in my experience, so and you're around all these uh, uh, Chevys, <laughs> <they're> just <laughs> billowing smog. You're like, <laughs> how did you get approved for this? Like, how'd you pass How? the emissions test? How? Oh, somebody's getting I, paid off. I get it. You, you gave them some Taco Bell. I that's get right. it. Get it. Taco Bell is. Well, that's how that goes. So, yeah, those brought back just great memories. Memories. Wow. Memories. I will, I will never forget my experience in L.A. Where, um, you know, you, you, see, um, you see photos and videos online of yeah. L.A. traffic. You know... That it sucks. Usually they're in the daylight. Yeah. But my experience, it was like uh, 2 30, 3 o'clock in the morning on a weeknight. And I'm driving back from an event and I'm getting stuck in traffic. Yeah. Like, like rush hour traffic. And I'm getting stuck in this traffic. And I'm like, it is 2 30 in the freaking morning. Why am I stuck in rush hour traffic at 2 30 in the freaking morning? That's how busy LA is. That's how full LA is. It's just. Blech. All the time, people. All the time. All, All the, the time. time. Oh. And New York's like that. So if yes. you guys are in New York City, it's like It that. is. Exactly. The like only difference is New York City, you get into a cab. Yep. In Which Los I would Angeles, recommend. You're afraid to call a cab. Yeah. because they're... I'd be more afraid to call an Uber, frankly. I don't know, man. Uh, I, I, I'm, definitely, I'm definitely not calling a cab in L.A., but that's the thing. That's that's the switch with with New York is that I'm. You have to. You have to call. You don't want to drive in New York. No. People have no, no idea. No idea. And you're care. not going to try to call an Uber in New York. No. It's thirty thousand cabs. And it's thirty thousand dollars for an yeah. Uber. So the cabbies in New York, which I like, are a cabbie in in D.C. as well. Right. Is they will take corners at 95 miles an hour. It's <laughs> yep. the only time where you feel like you're in a Bonnie and Clyde movie. When they ask you to put on your seatbelt, just do it. Don't hesitate. Just know that you're going to get your money's worth. Don't don't even go to the theme park. Just get in a cab, and that'll be yeah. everything that you ever thought you needed in a theme park. Right. Roll down the window. Yep. Hang outside the window. Some of yeah. them, yeah. some of them have sunroofs or moonroofs, and I would suggest doing that now. Be careful, because if you start to flip, you want to you want to retract down into the vehicle and hold right. on, because you're it's not going to feel good for you. And then if you get the really good cabbie, the van, it's kind of like being in the Batmobile or you know in the, one of the Bat movies. You know, you know you're wearing that shirt. shirt, right? Yeah, I just threw that up. Huh. At, it's so. weird. Yeah. I'm it's weird. Batman. It's like you planned that plug. Yeah, I just I didn't. Huh. I didn't. It just kind of happened. Yeah. Mm. It, it just happened. Although I was trying to track down George Clooney, okay, because <laughs> he just sold his tequila business for two billion. Yeah, yeah, we're thinking about doing that too. You know, mm. just all in dollar bills, right? Yeah. And, and I was just doing some search on the internet for him because I'm mm-hmm. thinking, you know what, he'd be kind of cool to talk to. Sure, sure. 
And he had a uh, his personal email was I'm Batman. <laughs> so I found that on a website, <laughs> you know, like five years ago, and I actually right. sent an email to it. It says, uh, you know, we don't use this anymore. It's turned off. And I had done a little pitch about the the show and stuff. Someone replied. What? Yes. <laughs> and I'm like, what? What? Was it Batman? Yeah, because George thinks he's Batman. Well, still. of course he does. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, if you play got a billion dollars, you're Bruce F. and Wayne. You are it. You are him. Yeah. You know, yeah. unlike us. Bruce. Yeah, where we have uh, a a dollar. Um, we have a dollar, <laughs> so that's that's good. It's fifty we cents drink, between the two of us. Uh, generic tequila. That's right. That's right. I don't even know if it is actually tequila. It might actually just be gas. Yeah, petrol. I don't know. Petrol. Petrol. I like that. Yeah. For all our uh, uh, British friends. British friends. British friends. And some of some of our some of our um our uh European friends in general. That's right. We do like the peons. Yeah. So the peons. Peons like us. For some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but we're okay with it. We need the numbers. We're good. We always do. We always do. We love everybody that's out there. Now, I did have a funny incident today, and I tweeted about it. So I misplaced my phone. Hmm. Okay, so I'm out and about. I'm doing whatever work. So I come into the house. By chance, my dad had uh, hip replacement surgery uh-huh. yesterday. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, my dad's doing uh, pretty good now. Um, uh, tough guy. Had a shoulder replacement had his back done, hip replacement. He's he's pretty much falling apart, and that's what I keep telling him. He should be a brand new man. Bionic. Wow. That's what you get when you have seven kids in nine years. Well, so it's a bit much. So I get off the phone with my mom, and I check on on my dad. Okay, I'm like, before I head out to go see him in the hospital, I'm like going, mm-hmm. hey, how's he doing? How's he feeling? What kind of uh, mood is he in? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, because yesterday he was in an angry mood because he couldn't move, he couldn't sleep, couldn't do anything. And I totally understand that. Right. Okay. He's like, oh, they got me strapped to the bed, yep. strapped to these things so I can't move. Mm-hmm. And my dad's like, and I don't like that. Some people do. He does not. Sure. I get oh, that. And he's like, and uh, he's like, I'm still bleeding from the incision. Hmm. I don't like that. Right. This is Frank. You don't, you don't screw with Frank. Right. Okay? Right. So I called my mom this morning just to check on it. And just by chance, my daughter's at the house with me. Uh She just got home for whatever. And I got to take my son's car to go get fixed. Um, Heaven forbid my son take his own car to get it (laughs) fixed. So there's a note, "Uh, Dad, check engine light, not working. Will you take it to the shop? I'm like, what the? Right. Talk to my mom. I drive it over to the shop. And my daughter picks me up and I come back and I'm going... Where's my phone? Uh-oh. What the hell? Where is my phone? Oh, jeez. Oh, so I'm taking apart the freaking house looking for my phone. Like 20 minutes. I'm looking every possible way. I'm looking in the fridge because I passed it. <laughs> okay. But maybe, <laughs> just maybe, right. the bathroom, I'm picking up everything possible. My daughter's going behind me. So I drive back to the auto shop, and I look in my, my son's car. I'm like... Well, maybe it's in there. So I'm looking through there. I don't see it. Right. And I'm pulling out all these bags of Taco Bell and McDonald's and everything now, else. Like, I'm going to kill him. Before before you get, did you, did, was there ever a moment in the beginning where you're like, I'll just call it. I'll just call yeah. my phone. I called it five times, <laughs> but I don't have a ringer on it. I'm like. Right. It's I vibrating. Yeah. Like, yeah. of course I'm not going to hear it. Yeah. So I'm in my office I'll calling it, going everywhere, and I'm just touching papers. <laughs> like, well, maybe I'll feel it vibrate somewhere. Put my hand on my bed. Well, maybe it's there. Uh, no, I wasn't in my bed. Um, so going around like 45 minutes, my daughter's helping me check in everything, like right behind me. I would pick up something. I'd put it down. She would pick it up right behind me. She's like, <laughs> well, Dad, I just need to make sure. I need to make sure. I need to know for myself. So I'm it's like, not there. I can't go see your grandfather until I can find my phone. There's a lot of important phone numbers in there. Right. Like Eric Black's number is in there. It's number one. Yeah. People might want to call him. Right. Right. From so your phone. Just apparently. like, 
Sweet. What the hell? So my daughter's trying to use the uh, the iPhone Seek on it or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, that didn't work. So hmm. nothing's worked. Hmm. So she's like, you know what, Dan? I'm just going to go to the mechanic shop. I'm just going to look through, uh, you know, my brother's car one more time. I'm like, going, it's not there. Right. I took the damn thing apart. <laughs> so she goes, <sighs> she finds it in his car. Okay. Well. Now, against the um, the seatbelt and the chair. Oh. So I didn't see it. Yeah. I was looking everywhere. I was looking underneath the chair. I didn't see it. I was looking on top of the chair. She's like, it's just one of those places, Dad, where you wouldn't see yep. it. She goes, the only reason why I knew it might be there is because when she borrowed his car, she's like, that's where mine fell. <laughs> so I'm like, you could have told me. Yeah. Because I'm running around yeah. like some moron. Mm-hmm. 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 And then she asked for a reward. Wow. Get her some fries from McDonald's. I offered a cookie. Well, that's fair. That's an acceptable you know, reward. Like, here's a thin Oreo. Yeah. It doesn't have wait. any you know, filling. Gotta, you know, There's no filling. Just. You're an athlete and you're on a diet. So I don't want to mess that up. Yeah. You got to be careful. So no love for dad for not being able to find his damn phone. So right. she uh, decided to get me one of those um, those eyeglass chains, you know, so you can hold your eyeglasses around what? your neck. Wow. So she's like, you know, dad, here, I just came from the dollar store. Maybe we can connect this <laughs> to your phone. <laughs> the dollar store? Yeah. All I'm right. like, I <laughs> All I, right. of course, thought that was hilarious, but mm-hmm. I couldn't let her know I thought that was funny. Absolutely not. That'd be a horrible experience for her. Yeah. So it's like, you know, we can get one of those connectors, you know, for your phone in there. Yeah. Just hang it. Right. Hang it from, that's totally cool. I then threw the clock around the neck. Yep. At her. Yep. She didn't get it. Well, she's young. Yeah. She's so, young. Yeah. Which, you know, with Mickey around your neck. Right. It's unfortunate. So she didn't really get it, and she made some other comments. Flavor Flav. And she didn't get the... I think the only thing she got out of that was, didn't he have a TV show? Well, that's fair, because he did. But that's not it's why he's famous. Flavor Flav of Love or something like that. F- flavor Flav of Love? Some, wasn't that what it was called? Flavor, flavor, flavor of love. I maybe yeah, some, wasn't a some show he was sounds, looking for a new wife of some sort. Sounds stupid like that. Yeah, yeah, he was. That's right. He was looking for a wife, and I think he found like eight. Yeah, good so, for him. Good for him. Something on it must have been an MTV show of some sort. You know, it some was. type of MTV yeah. special. Yeah, you know, music television. Where else would you go for reality TV? Oh, music television. That's where we belong. We that's exactly where we belong, and then we could play music, and then things like Facebook could yell at us. That's exactly right. That's exactly you don't right. say. Wait a second. Do you have rights to this? Of course we do. Of course we do. Can you provide those rights? No. And I'm sick of you asking. Stop yeah. asking me. I'm not gonna. No. I'm not like, gonna. Why are them you for asking you. me, Facebook? No. You you don't you don't own me. You're not my mom. You're not do my you not real know mom. Who he is? Come on. Come on, son. Come on. You know, we the know nothing boys. Boys. That one's with a Z. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Whoop. That's right. <laughs> Look, Facebook, you won't talk to me? You drop me some digits. You drop me an email. You know what I'm saying? Nah, no, say. Nah, no, say. Huh? Nah, no, say. Know, you know, even better than that, you send me a fax. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar. Cheddar cheese. <laughs> We're, Look, we are still looking for <laughs> cheddar cheese facts. That's okay? right. That's right. Behind the music. Drop on cheddar. Cheddar. Cheddar cheese. Well, if any, any of you can find cheddar cheese on Facebook or, or Twitter. I wonder I wonder if he started off in the strip clubs. I wonder if that's where he started. And then he progressed into whatever it is he's doing now. Look, honey, they ain't no cheese, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, ain't no cheese, yeah. And you know what? Uh, you know what? That's monster cheese, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kobe Jack. That's right. That's right. I'm Jack. Kobe Jack. Kobe Jack. Sometimes right. they call me Swiss. 
because I'm holy. My little buddy, Parmesan. Parmesan. That's right. Could you imagine being a sidekick? 